Hello everybody, welcome back to another Game Dev Tycoon video. Let's start back up, Slide Deathman Inc. When we left off, we had nothing going on, so let's start doing something. We have 9.2 million dollars in the bank with 51.2 thousand fans. Should we actually research anything? Well, let's see. We have 138 research points. So, I do not recall from my last recording session. Ah, now I remember. We really want surround sound and skill trees and... Jeez, oh, we want all of this. Um, we really want all of this stuff. It's gonna help our games a lot. So we really need to... We need to look at the big picture here. Which games make us the most money? Uh, oh god, TF2 Origins. What a flop. Alright. RPG games, they seem to be our strong suit. So let's focus on RPG related, uh, you know, boosters. So skill trees, I think should be a definite thing if we want to make good money on RPG games. So let's do that. And I'm, I'm torn between surround sound and simple body language, because Surround sound would just make the game sound fantastic, like it'd just be beautiful, but simple body language, you know, we have some pretty good stereo sound already, you know, it sounds uh, decent, but we want to be able to believe our characters, you know, what they look like and how they move, so I think we're going to go with simple body language. Oh, but we don't have enough research points. Oh, crap. That's horrible. Alright, it's fine. We will not make a new game engine just yet. Once Phil is done researching that, we will make another game. And Hector, by doing nothing, he is losing his efficiency because he's just worthless. God, Hector. Eh, he's getting better. He's getting better. It's fine. Alright, Hector, come on back. There we go. Develop a new game. Actually, let's see if there's any publishing deals we can do. We haven't done a publishing contract in a while. A spy RPG for the new. Oh god, that wouldn't turn out well for the new We can already see it right now. A movie's... Uh, see, if that was any topic adventure, I'm pretty sure if we put a lot of effort into it, we could have gotten that, but just because it's movies and adventure, I don't think it's going to do good at all. See, they, a dance game for the PC? What what do they expect? Like, they give you these impossible, these impossible combinations. They're like, go, make it work. We're gonna find you if it doesn't. No. Fuck you. You're giving me something impossible to do. And then you're gonna take all my money out of it and give me a low royalty rate. So, we're gonna do this on our own. We're halfway to a thousand dollars, so soon we can make medium games no problem. So we don't want to spend that kind of money just yet. Mature game. I can already tell it's gonna be mature. We're gonna make it a space game. Space simulator. For the PC, Slime X 6.0. In reference to my latest Let's Play, it's gonna be called Sherbel Space Expedition. Oh, it can't fit. It can't fit. Sherbel Space Sim. There we go. Perfect. Completely original. Next, good, start development, and we will go to G3. In what some call a bizarre show of arrogance, phony representatives have been trash-talking Mirgonov's successful Mbox 360 while praising their own upcoming Play System 3 in the lead up to their launch later this month. Alright, so the Play System 3 is coming out later this month. Asked about the unusually high price of the Play System 3, a high-ranking company official replied, people will work more hours to buy one. We want people to feel that if they want it more than anything else. We are not sure that if players really want it so badly as so far no major game titles have been announced for the Play System 3. It might be a while before developers are able to take full advantage of the new of the powerful new console. Okay, so off to a slow start there. Alright, it is a space simulator, so we literally need no story whatsoever. Uh we will have character progression and a steering wheel, because why the hell not? 
and maybe a joystick as well because I mean you might want to use your old joystick for the simulator uh, that wasn't supposed to sound like a sex thing all right so engine go down a little bit actually I think in a simulator the engine would be the highest uh, part of it so maybe we should take off steering wheel because I mean in this sort of simulator you definitely wouldn't use a steering wheel um we want achievements to stay in there everyone loves feeling good about themselves should we take off joystick as well let's do it and we will save money by doing that as well alright it's fine there we go Hector bringing a little bit to the table this time today the new platform play system 3 by Boney has been released okay some hype generated right there no I do not want to research oh I couldn't mark it in time it's fine alright that seems like it's fine except AI companions we do not need alright it's a simulator so we want some uh, it's a space simulator, so decent AI. Right, I was thinking about Sims, and I was like, oh, AI all the way. Alright, dialogues. <laughs> thinking of Sims. Gone to shit right there, alright. And level design through the roof. Perfect, alright. We're gonna market this if I can access it. There we go. 8.5 million in the bank. Hopefully we're gonna make lots of money on this. This so might just be a good backup game to make. Uh, let's see. World design needs to be really good. Graphics down. And, hmm. We do not need a rich backstory for world design. So we'll save money on that. And we'll bring sound down. Oh, crap. Um, alright, bring that up. Bring that down ever so slightly. And. Alright, so right there, just tad bit below graphics. So this is gonna be a beautiful game. It's running on the Cry Engine. Oh, it's gonna be gorgeous. Alright, G3. How many people visit us to see Shareable Space Sim? One hundred and seventy four thousand six hundred and thirteen people went to our booth. Alright. Hector, actually contributing for once. Good job. You might actually be of some use now. Uh, I was on the brink there firing you, Hector, for a while. Alright, finish. I we did not break any records. Did we level up? Level design is now level seven. Ooh, three D graphics V4 is almost level three. And Hector and Phil are both oh, close level 7 and level 4. Release the game. We can research... Oh, we need that for our uh, RPGs as well. A dynamic environment, that would be orgasmic. Alright. I I mean, come on, guys. It's a space simulator. It's gonna be 4 tens. I mean, come on. Look at that. Look at that 10. Look at that 10. 10. Amazing. <laughs> 15 never been better 14 eh, yeah their focus on gameplay serve this game fantastically fantastically yeah hey it's amazing with another 14 god I suck at everything except for RPGs all right didn't do half bad 33,000 sales in the first week but we are losing fans, and that is no bueno. No, no, no bueno. Alright, contract work. Let's see if we can do that really quickly. We just want to research. Uh, what should we research? I, God, whenever I'm recording, my memory just goes blank. And whenever I'm, you know, just alone, sly, all by himself, memory of a Vulcan, recording, I'm a retard. Alright. So, maybe instead of the simple body language, we should just go straight to dynamic environment. 
Eh, I'm, I think we should at least put simple body language in there, because who can play a game where they don't even make body language, all of a sudden just like, there's like a, a snowstorm rolling in, and the person doesn't even like, show the slightest signs that they're colder. I mean, that would just be stupid. Alright, so, we're in the hole from when we started, but we're gonna have to make an amazing game once we make a new engine. Hopefully, this engine will blow everyone's minds. Antics. What? Who said? Get out of here. Who said that? All right. Uh, you know, 0.6 million. Yeah, not not good. All right. We are going to create a custom engine. Good. Good. All right. So this is gonna be. I think this is gonna be our RPG engine. So we're gonna take off everything that we don't need to save as much money as possible since it's an RPG we do not need multiplayer uh, we do not need a joystick or a steering wheel we do need skill trees though uh, we do need this uh, let's see yep wow okay we're gonna dip down Wow, okay. Slimatic. Uh. I. Never failing. Capital L's in there. Jesus. Alright, what is this now? 7.0? 7.0. It's not. Doesn't matter, it's just such a fantastic engine. It just immediately jumped to 7.0. And possibly, if this game is amazing, we will hire another employee to roll in some more money. And we're already in year 21, and we're all, we haven't even gotten to the third office yet, so... Uh, I'm thinking about expanding the series past year 30, just so you guys can see everything that this game has to offer. There's, there's so much more stuff than just making games, and I will not give away spoilers, but... This game, once you get to the next stage, that's where it really starts getting interesting and fun. Alright. Hector and Phil, working side by side. Play System 2 is no longer supported. But we did not make any games for that. We're purely PC, except for a fiasco with the Super TES at some point. Oh, I think I have my memory back. Yes. Work, my minions. Work! Alright. 90 left. Gaining some research points. We have 50 research points as of now. Hopefully we'll get over 80 by the time we finish making our next game. Slimatic 7.0 is now complete. Going to develop a sequel to The Abyss. We're going to, uh, as usual, PC. Yes, I'm not stupid. I made the correct jump. Alright. The Abyss will now be called, uh... Hmm. Bones of... Deal. I have no idea what that would mean. Alright. 3D graphics v4 as usual. And what are we doing? All we did was contribute a bug. God. You guys are worthless. Put that in there. Alright, so this is where we're really going to start getting screwed really fast. Alright, so bring this down. Oh god. Wow. Okay, um. So, full out on stories and quests, only 60% of what we are actually doing in gameplay, only 40% of 
of good stuff is going into the engine. We really need another employee to help us out with this. Wow. I mean, Hector, he can't even believe it. He's He was, couldn't even start off at first. He's like, holy shit. And then he rubbed his butt because it hurt. Alright. RPG AI is okay. We need all the dialogue up in here. Oh my god, this is, this is just going to be awful, isn't it? Oh god. Level design. <laughs> Down a lot. Oh, thank god we can actually do this, but our level design has gone to complete shit. There we go. We have a tad bit of level, level design. You guys can't see me, but I'm holding my fingers really close together when I say tad. Alright, rich backstory back in the game. Uh, world design would be back up. Uh, let's see. Let's try at least balance these out. Always want graphics to be better than sound, in my opinion. Alright, so, full bore on design, just a tad bit below full bore for graphics, and, you know, we, we, we don't have the greatest sound put into this, but 96% of our work in sound is in there. Alright, we are definitely breaking design, uh, record. Uh, ooh, should we, oh, I think we're gonna be too late. We'll do it, we'll do it anyway, because we have lots of money, well, we're sort of in the hole, as I say that, but, uh, once the game is actually out, uh, we'll get a rise in sales, hopefully, because people go to G3 and they see that this is already out, and they're like, oh, this game looks awesome. Let's go get that, and then all of a sudden, as our sales are dipping, all of a sudden they rise again. Alright, so new records in both design and technology. World design is now level 7. 3D graphics v4 is now level 3. Phil Robinson is now level 7, and Hector Butler is now level 4. Great salary increase, goddammit. And realistic weather and 3D graphics v5. Oh my god, Crisis 3 is gonna come out. Alright, send him on vacation. The first reviews came in, we can really use a good game right now. And it's shit. Oh god. It's quirky- oh. Oh no. Oh, Hector, it's all your fault somehow. I'll find a way to pin it on you. Me and Phil had nothing to do with it. Oh, 6-7, six, 6-7. Seven, six, seven. Uh, it could have been worse, but it could have been so much better. Oh my god. We really need G3 right now to boost our sales big time. Nobody is interested in Bones of Steel whatsoever. Look at that, barely even an increase. God damn it. And we, I hope we don't lose fans. I really do. Alright. 67,000 sales in the first week. Look, look, at, look at the dip in sales right there. People right, were like, don't buy this game, guys. It's awful. Goddamn awful. I think we really need that new position. You can hire up to four employees in this office. Don't try to hire everyone at once as staff are expensive. Many rookies hire too early and go bankrupt. It's best to take it slow. We're no rookies. Alright. Alright. I guess 300,000. And show real, why not? Start looking. It's better payoff. Hector, now you be nice to the guests who's gonna stay with us forever and ever. Louise Robinson, Karen Manning, and Nathaniel Long. What the hell? Why is it? Jesus. Alright. Who has the best speed? I think Nathaniel does. But 20,000 per month. Jesus. I think I might... I don't know. Maybe it'll be worth it with Nathaniel. Alright, we're gonna hire Nathaniel Long. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if that's racist, but I think he's Asian. Uh, don't judge. Hey, I told you. I don't, uh, I don't even know if that's Asian. Alright. We're gonna train him. Staff welcoming. There you go. Everyone, we need to get pumped up for this. We're gonna make a new game, and it's gonna be a publishing deal. And we're going to have another person to take on the ordeal. And it's just going to be fantastic. We're going to make loads of money. 
Hi again, I heard that you've been very successful in the gaming business and are starting to grow your team. I've updated our client list, so if you're looking for some contract work, let me know. Medium sized contracts are oh, great, medium sized contracts, we can barely even do the small ones. Alright, everyone regain your efficiency. Bones of Steel sold, well, gained $1.2 million, which honestly isn't bad, but isn't good. Alright. Develop a new game, actually. Uh, yeah, develop a new game, never mind. I don't know what that was about. Actually, now I remember what that was about. Jeez. Had a minor spat there. Um, alright. A Wild West strategy game for, I'm guessing we could put it for the PC. Maybe, maybe. Airplane any genre, but on the PPS, no thank you. Alright, we're gonna do Wild West and strategy just to get some money rolling in, because our royalties are 11%. Is there anything higher than 11% here? Nope. Alright. So we're gonna accept that con oh, we have to actually research it manually. Alright. Research. Wild West. Start research. Oh god. We can really use some money right now. We're stuck in a never ending loop of going up to like 8 million and then dropping down back to 5 million and then going back up and... It's just a nightmare. Accept the contract. Uh, is it is it for everyone? I don't, I don't even remember. It's a strategy game in the Wild West. Let's make it for mature audiences. For no, no. What happened to the PC? Jesus, PC is losing its market share. Like you'd never believe. All right, a Wild West strategy game would be, be called. Um, Lassoing. I don't even know if that's how you spell it. Lassoing prostitutes. Courtesy of Red Dead Redemption. Perfect! This game's gonna get us millions! And Phil, only person to contribute. Stores and quests, fuck you. We need none of it. Alright, so engine all the way up. We do not need skill trees, nor character progression. Oh, I forgot. Alright, so gameplay design will go to uh, Nathaniel. Hector will take over stories and quests, and Phil Robertson. Yours truly will do the engine. Take on the heavy burden. And Hector. Doing nothing until the very end. Of course. Generating some hype. Alright. Simple body language. Goodbye. Dialogue tree. Goodbye. We need none of these. AI. Through the roof. Level design. Needs to be pretty good. Uh, I keep forgetting to do that. Alright. Dialogues. Alright, well. Phil Robertson immediately has to do AI. We're already overworking him a lot. So maybe we should actually go for that achievement. And do this. Alright, so Hector Butler does that. Phil Robertson will do this. And Nathaniel will do that. Okay. Generating a little bit of hype. Let's aid that with marketing in magazines as per usual wow we are not breaking any new records here wow okay we're gonna cut it really thin here um, world design will be taken over by oh yeah we're not gonna be able to do it Nope. Not gonna be able to do it. Alright. Screw it. Hector, you take over that. And Nathaniel, you could take that. Go. 
I don't even remember what the minimum rating we can get was, so I'm very nervous now about any score we get. Come on, there we go. Alright, 51 design, 33 technology. We always have these huge gaps now, I mean, we are all about design in this company, I guess. Ooh, so close to level 7 for engine. So close to level 7 in AI, and nothing leveled up. Release the game. Oh god, I'm very nervous about this. We have 6.1 million in the bank. The first review is for Last Wing Prostitutes came in, and it's fucking horrible. Oh my god. Nathaniel, what are you doing? Well, I tried. Hello. Uh, Nathaniel didn't contribute with his 18 technology. Uh, you're a waste of time, Game Hero, and you're utterly uninspiring. Alright, we just lost a hell of a lot of money and lots of fans. Oh my god. Uh, but look at all the sales. Ooh. Codemeisters, the game doesn't live up to blah blah blah, yeah, of course. Look at that, look at that. We just lost so many fans and so much money. And we're barely even making that much money because of how much, uh... How much money they take from that. Our royalties are very low. See, it looks like we're making absolute fuck fuck tons, but we're really not. So, let us develop a sequel to something. Alright, maybe we should do another War Thunder for the PC. Cymatic 7.0. War Lightning. As requested, I think. I can't even remember. I hope it's the right name that was requested. Otherwise, my apologies. Alright, that seems good. I think maybe skill trees or character progression should go in there. I like character progression in the gameplay. Okay. AI, not so much. Uh, simple body language, no, oh god, no. Jeez, that's a very hefty cost there. Dialogues, okay. Level design through the roof. AI, okay. I don't think War Lightning is gonna turn any heads. I, I'm losing faith in this company, it's just gradually declining as each game is just worse and worse. Alright, world design. We'll bring it down a little bit. Because, I mean, War Thunder's graphics are fantastic. Its sounds are fantastic, so let's bring its sounds up a little bit. And world design, bring that down. Because, I mean, come on. War Thunder has immensely huge maps, especially in their historical battles, but, I mean, it's not really that old beautiful. I mean, oh, I'm in the rice terraces. Look at that pagoda. It looks so realistic. It's just a red blob, so to speak. Not really. Everything in War Thunder, I think, looks beautiful. Keep the good, keep the good work going, guys. And all right. Hopefully, people just have faith in War Lightning after. Uh, wow, I think that's like even less than what we got last time. Yeah, when, you don't. You guys don't have to see any of that. I, what, I don't know what you're talking about. That did horrible. All right, get rid of that bug that you just made. All right. Again, did not break any records. Engine level seven, AI level seven, perfect. Release the game. We can research online. Really? God, I didn't even realize we've been making. Oh God, we're making this, and it's not even online. God damn it. No wonder why it's got such a low rating. Look at that. People are like, oh, where are the other guys? Like, oh, you're playing by yourself. Just fly around and have fun. 
God damn it. Fail! How could you let this happen? You asshole! You're fired! Can't even fire you. you got 5.75. God damn it. God damn it. Look how many sales lassoing prostitutes got. And immediately, War Lightning still got more money than lassoing prostitutes has been getting. We're gonna send you and you on vacation. Oh, critics praised oh, that War Lightning had a newer engine than the original, really driving technical innovation. All right, so it could have been worse if we didn't. If we used the old engine that was suited for uh, airplane simulators, it it would have gotten a worse score just because there was no new engine. Alright. Come on. Seven million. Nope, we're, we're slowly losing money. Oh. Seven million. I can die in peace. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and favorite if you enjoyed this shit. Uh, One million on War Lightning. That's very nice. Uh, subscribe. And I will see you awesome guys next time. Bye. Thank you.